Closing arguments begin tomorrow in the federal case of Doug Evans and his company. It is a case of fraud, accusations of phony companies, and gaming taxpayers. The I-Team has been in that federal courtroom for every day of the month-long trial. Craig Cheatham and Paula Christian are in the newsroom now to get us caught up. Doug Evans, the founder and longtime owner of Evans Landscaping, a very prominent landscaping company in the Cincinnati area, is on trial in federal court. The trial is about a month old. His company is also on trial, as well as his vice president of operations. Closing arguments in the case are expected tomorrow. I-Team reporter Paula Christian has been covering this trial from the beginning, and you started covering the case more than three years ago. Paula, what do you expect them to talk about tomorrow in their closing arguments? Well, they will just try and remind jurors of everything they've heard over the last month. There's been a lot of evidence. There's been 40 witnesses. There's been hundreds of emails and text messages that have been read aloud in court. So prosecutors will focus on what they think is their strongest evidence, which would probably be the four Evans employees who have um, pled guilty and testified against uh, Doug Evans in court. I'm sure they'll remind jurors of that testimony. The defense will remind jurors about all of the witnesses they had. They had a lot of current and former employees as well that said this was a separate company. Doug Evans had nothing to do with it. His vice president of operations, Jim Bailey, had even less to do with it. Evans testified. What was his defense? He said that he was just trying to help a friend out. They coached youth football together. He was a longtime IT employee, wanted to start a minority company. He gave him some money, helped him out with a line of credit. He was just trying to do a nice thing. Do we know how much prison time he's facing? Well, technically it's up to 103 years in prison, but they won't serve anywhere close to that if they're convicted. But a lot of it just depends on if they are convicted, what they're convicted of, and then, you know, it's up to the judge. Sure. Paula, thanks. I'm sure you'll be back in the courtroom on Monday and, and several days after that, depending on how long the jury deliberates. For Paula Christian, I'm Craig Cheatham, 9 on your side.